Hello, Animal Crossers! Welcome to some gameplay of Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, which is a brand new game that came out on... There it is, as you can see. It came out over the weekend, I believe on Saturday, when the Mewtwo Amiibo and some of the other new Amiibos came out. And so I'm finally getting around to playing it, to trying it out. So we're going to do a little bit of gameplay here and just kind of see how this game uh, goes. <laughs> Uh, this is my first time ever playing it, though it is a game that, when I saw it, I did I did seem interested. I was interested in it, and so we're going to try it out here. Now, it comes with some Amiibos, some Animal Crossing Amiibos, and to be honest, that was one of the biggest reasons why I was excited to try this game, because I don't collect a lot of Amiibos. I only co collect the Amiibos that I like from games that I like. I don't collect them all, and I've, I've been a huge Animal Crossing fan since the GameCube version was a thing, so I love Animal Crossing. And I played most of the games. I have not played Happy Home Designer, but if you remember, we did have a Animal Crossing playthrough Let's Play on our channel. I'll post a link to that in, this, in the description in case you're interested. But basically what this is, is it's called Amiibo Festival, which means it requires the use of the physical Amiibo characters, the Animal Crossing Amiibos, and also the Animal Crossing Amiibo cards that they have. But if you don't have any of those Amiibos, you're in luck. When you buy the game, it does come with two Amiibos. Isabelle, the little yellow puppy, and her brother Digby. So they're really cute. I mean, Animal Crossing is a very cute series. And if you've seen these Amiibos, they are very, very cute. And I made sure to get all of them because I love these characters. So anyways, we're going we're gonna to try out Kota Kiki. He's one of my favorite characters. I think he's a fan favorite among Animal Crossing characters. So we're going to touch him to base and see what he does. All right, so Totoki has arrived. I, I always call him Totokiki, but I think the way that his name is in the game is KK is just his. Uh, so <laughs> I'll start calling him KK. I don't know why I've started calling him Totokiki. This is the festival gateway. From here, you can set off for the town where the Animal Crossing board game takes place. So this is essentially like Mario Party. It's a little board game. So we're going to take a single player. <laughs> First off, let's players and the characters who will participate. Now it's just me right now, so I'm a player. I think you can actually. Cool. Villagers will join you in a four player game. Is that okay? Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of a hassle to people all right so we're moving three spaces we're not going that way and that's kind of cool it shows you in anticipation what space you'll be landing on so that's kind of smart and i think we're just going to go ahead and go to the no we're going to go down it looks like we get happy points if we go down so we're going to do that i received a letter from myself three years ago i really appreciated my words of encouragement to me plus three happy points okay so happy points are kind of like in mario party the stars so you know how you collect stars and the person with the most stars at the end wins. I think this is pretty similar. I've been working hard to save up bells, and I earned I even earned more bells from the interest. How nice. Oh wow, she got three happy points plus a lot of money. Her name is just a generic girl four. <laughs> Two more spaces, she's gonna choose that one. She's gonna get some happy points. Free correspondence course about positive thinking. I'm feeling really positive and happy now. <laughs> Alright, boy three. <laughs> Very creative with those names, by the way. Alright, he's moving four spaces, and he's going to go get some money. Today on stage, I used some gags my mentor gave me. They got more laughs for me than they ever did for him. Plus, I got piggity paid. Wow. Please don't ever say that again. So he's got a lot of money too. Alright, so now it's the next day, which means the next turn, and it's raining. And this is a little cool thing about the game is there are 12 different boards, each of which corresponds to a different month of the year. And of course, obviously things will happen depending on what month of the year it is. So I think that's really neat as well. Oh, and I have a little emoticon on my touchpad, which allows me to clap. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and roll the die by placing Todekiki's figure, or sorry, KK. And he hits five, so we're going to move five spaces here. And we get a happy point as well. That's pretty nice. Okay, cool. My friend was complaining about not being able to dry his clothes outside because of the rain, so I sold him an indoor drying rack. I thought I was going to say, so I sold him, which is pretty messed up. All right, girl two, you're up. Don't disappoint. Five. Sure, girl, too. Oh, that creepy-looking beaver. <laughs> uh, the picture didn't come out, and they gave her a refund and some extra to apologize. Wow. That's that's how you turn a bad situation into a good situation, right? All right, girl number th four, I think her name is? <laughs> they should allow you to kind of customize the characters. That would be pretty neat. To maybe create your own little Animal Crossing characters in the game and save them and then use those for these so that th there's a little bit more personality rather than just calling them boy three and girl four that's pretty messed up alright so boy three introduced to a friend of, of his real estate guy and the two of them just finished up a land deal and he got a little bonus okay so these little stories are cool but I, I could also see how they could end up being uh, you know a, a, a little bit maybe of a nuisance to someone. Maybe not a nuisance, but maybe they could get in the way, I guess. Alright, so Todekiki's going to roll a 6. Pretty nice, and he gets a happy point. I guess I... Do I always get a happy point? I'm getting very lucky. Oh, we're going to go here because we get a happy point and money. That's I mean, that's great, right? I got nice rewards for plucking out a bunch of weeds. I'm so happy my hard work got noticed. Uh, that little sloth guy, he, his name is Leaf, I think. Uh, he's a cool character. So a lot of people were disappointed about this game because people were really, really waiting for a Wii U Animal Crossing installment. Like an actual main series Animal Crossing game, you know, like the usual where you, where you have a town and you collect bells and whatnot. You, you manage your town and your house and all that. That would have been beautiful. That would have been absolutely perfect. 
if we had a Wii U version of Animal Crossing, but this is what we're getting instead of a Wii U version of Animal Crossing. We're getting a party game, and again, I'm a fan of Animal Crossing, so to me this has been fun, or it looks uh, it's looked fun to me, but I know a lot of other fans aren't really happy about this, but so far I like this. I mean, hopefully it doesn't get stale, but I know there are several other modes in the game that it's not just this board game, so... And the board game has been fine so far, so... I'm looking forward to playing when Dieter comes home this weekend, so we're going to hopefully play a little bit of multiplayer here. So it'll be a little more personality rather than just me playing. <laughs> cool, we're near the beach. All right, so Tod or Todokiki. KK has to roll now. I keep calling him Todokiki. I guess that's fine, right? I think he's fine with that. So he's rolling a three. We got another happy point, and we're getting more happy points. So we are basically dominating at this point. No one is on our level right now. I learned so much at the museum. I feel like I got really smart in just one visit. I want to share all my knowledge with someone. Cool. Very, very cool. Now girl two. So we are winning by a pretty long shot. We haven't gotten any unlucky squares just yet, so let's keep our fingers crossed. And sh for some reason she's going to choose to land on the bad square. I don't know why she chose that. I bought a toaster at the discount store, but it always burns the toast. I guess that's what I get for buying cheap appliances. Alright. Girl number four, it's all you. She rolls a two. She's gonna choose to get some money. The Happy Home Academy asked me to do an open house. Later, an HHA representative paid me for my trouble. If only, if only. <laughs> All right, boy three. He's looking at a sad square. Some clothes I accidentally put on display somehow became a huge hit on the street. How is that a bad thing? It's too late to tell everyone it was just a big mistake. That's not a bad thing. Unless those were clothes that he like really, really wanted to keep, but I don't see how that's bad at all. I would be proud of that. Ooh, Dr. Shrunk is visiting. So these characters from the game will visit from time to time. These are like kind of NPCs in the game. And uh, they, I guess, will visit from time to time. So today, if you land on a special event space, I'll share my special shtick. Uh, that sounds kind of awkward. If you, want my sh if you watch my shtick, I'll give you a card. Uh, you'll get a card. It comes with a really corny joke. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, let's roll with the amiibo again, <laughs> and again I got plus one. I is that like a bonus or something? Like, am I just getting lucky? Does everyone get plus one? I met a hungry, wandering artist, so so I invited him to my house for lunch. He painted me a wonderful pink picture as a thank you. Sorry, plus three, nice. Yeah, we have a lot of happy points. Alright, so now girl two. She landed on a gyroed space. The passerby tossed some money her way. <laughs> she was just sitting on a bench humming and they threw money at her. That's. Like, how lucky are these people? Come on, dude. Like, not, a, not everyone can have that perfect a life. Alright, so she landed on a gyroed space and she got a little card, I guess. She got five happy points. That's pretty good. I'm actually near that space, so hopefully I can. Uh, hopefully I can get that next turn, but it looks like she had a pretty big turn, because now she's encountering Shrunk. He's going to treat her to some shtick and a card. That's so weird. What is a shtick? That's so weird. Alright, she gets to roll again. Let's see. She gets a two? What does that do? Shtick number two, okay. So he, the character, him, sorry, this character in the game, he owns like this little joke shop, I guess. So basically he's a comedian. So in the main series games, he, he tells you jokes. And from what I found, at least in my opinion, a lot of the time they don't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but. All right, boy three, don't disappoint. I dropped by Nookley Junction and saw the coolest furniture for sale. It's just what I want for my home. That's not very cool. Actually, it's fine. I mean, 
It looks kind of hard. Like, I wouldn't want to sit on that couch. All right, now it's my turn. So we're going to... So you have to always have your amiibo handy when you're playing this game. And I am playing in the dark, so I can't even admire my KK amiibo in person. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. This is a little awkward decision because if I go forward, I get a bad space. However, if I go forward, that's getting me closer to the gyroid. If I go to the left, I get a money and and bells space, which means I get more happy points. Sorry, a happy point and bell space, so I get more happy points. However, it moves me away from that gyroid, and I'm basically going back to, to where I started. So um, that's a tough one. I mean, I have so much happy points at this point. I, I have less money than everyone, though, but I have so many happy points that I can afford to lose some if, if that's what happens. So what do you all think? I mean... I probably won't. I won't see your comments until after. But what what do you, what would you do in this situation? Would you go just to keep upping your money and your happy points, or would you go for the gyroid? I'm honestly just going to go for the money and the happy points just to keep increasing it because I I do believe that is the way you win having the most happy points and or money. And so now we're encountering this really evil looking bull. He's really creepy. He has glowing red eyes. He's completely black. He's wearing black and red. If that doesn't set up, send up red, red flags, I don't know what does. I try to greet everyone who visits my town like a good tour guide. It feels great, and I get paid for it, even though I encounter all of the creepy weirdos. Just kidding. Sorry, bull dude. I don't know his name. I don't know all of these Animal Crossing uh, animals' names. Because there are quite a lot. You're the villagers, the villager animals. All right, so she got another card. It's a little tuxedo. I'm guessing, yeah, if you collect all of them, it makes a little picture. I ate a fortune cookie and there were some bells inside. That doesn't sound very healthy. I guess my financial future is looking up. Although, if you were eating a fortune cookie and you found money inside, that doesn't sound like a bad thing at all. <laughs> okay, so I guess the card that he gave her has a number 2 on it, so it looks like she could use that. Maybe to increase her roll by 2 or maybe to get 2. My friend was humming a catchy song, so I made it into a town tune. My friend loved it and paid me to remix it. That's pretty cool. It's the remix to Ignition, Hot and Fresh Out the Kitchen. I don't think they would play that in an Animal Crossing game. It's pretty... It's not PG. It's nice weather, so I decided to do some laundry. I found some bells in one of my pockets. That's pretty fortunate. I mean, I don't know how many of you do laundry during nice weather. That, doesn't, that sounds like counterintuitive. <laughs> Anyways, this is Katrina. She's the fortune teller. She's pretty cool. I sense there are those among us, you who search for happiness. Take charge of your destiny. You must come visit me at the fortune teller's shop when you land on a special event space. Cool. So she'll read your fortune. Uh, what kind of future is in store? She has tarot cards that show your destiny. So she's pretty cool. In the game, when you get your fortune read by her, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. So once again, I almost forgot to... Let's clap a little bit here. That's cute. Alright. And we're rolling a two. That's not good. It looks like we're going to lose some money. I got into a staring contest at the plaza today. I lost, but at least my performance was a good laugh. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> it's okay. Still doing well. So she's going to roll. She's going to hit a 3. Looks like she's going to get her fortune told. Key. She's going to reveal her future. Yee! Ah, yes. Ooh, the regal giraffe. <laughs> Great wealth nears. That is my reading. For one week. Oh, I didn't even read it. <laughs> she got a cool zap helmet. Nice. 
Boy 3, it's all you. 25 more spaces, wow. Ki he ha moata, moata. Welcome to my tent of fortunes. I, Katrina, will read your future. Now focus on tarot cards. Speak to them with your mind. Ki he ha moato mana, whatever. She's cool though. She's like a black cat. That's pretty cool. Ahem. Now touch your card of destiny. Ah, yes. Ooh, that's cool. That's pretty cute. I want these cards. The celebrant. I like that call, that word. Whenever someone rolls a two, I see. So now that her, their fortunes have been read, whenever someone rolls the corresponding number, something happens. So you made it to the end of the first week. The stock market opens next week, and that'll be tons of fun. Enjoy. So we we've lasted a week. We've survived a week in this godforsaken place. <laughs> Make way, kiddo. Good old So Joan is here. I've been selling turnips here on Sunday mornings for going on... Well, it's got to be more than 60 years. She's not 60 years years old. I can't believe that. Alright, so she's selling turnips. Oh, she gives us turnips. You can sell turnips on weekdays. The going price changes based on which space you land. So it's kind of like the actual game, because in the game you can collect turnips, and on different days of the week they sell for different prices. And so basically you got to kind of sell high and buy low but but you're not sure whether it's going to be a higher price the next day or a lower price so it's kind of a risk kind of thing if you want my advice i'd sell on the high price spaces it's just common sense right one little warning turns go bad in a week so you'd best sell them before saturday rolls around if you want more than what you've got to if you want more than what you've got right there i'll sell them to you at 80 bells per turnip i only sell them in bunches of 10 and that's that use the gamepad to let me know how many you want that's pretty cool Oh, so we can buy turnips right now, I see. Uh, I guess we'll buy some. I think we can afford to, so... Let's see, how many? 40 turnips, that's that's nearly our entire uh, check of money right now. We're gonna... We're gonna spend a little less than half of our bells and buy 20 turnips. I don't know if that's going to be valuable. That might that might not be good, but they're all buying a lot of turnips. So we still have more money than they do, but we we just got to kind of play it sorry, we just got to kind of play it smart. That's what we got to do. And I've never been good at the, this turnip selling thing on the Animal Crossing game. So let's roll the dice with our amiibo and we're going to get a 3. And we get a happy point, of course. And we rolled a 3, so we give him some money, of course. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get some bells here. It looks like somebody bought a, uh, a book that I introduced on my blog. I'm going to see a little bit of kickback money now. <laughs> That's cute. So he has a little blog and a little book. Alright, now we're looking at girl number two. She's going to roll a six. And she's going to get some money as well. She got a lot of money for her, for her bells. That's a ton. Girl four. Okay, so she rolled a three as well, so she's giving him money. He's getting rich off of that fortune card. I did some work at the food factory. The work was fun. I got some yummy food samples, and the pay was nice, too. It was a win-win-win. I don't know about you, but I've never heard of a win-win-win. I've heard of a win-win, but never a win-win-win. Wow, he rolled a five. He's doing good. And now he gets the stamp. I see, it's a stamp. I thought they were like just randomly throwing their card under the, under the gyroid, but it looks like he actually stamps it. That's kind of cool. He shot down a balloon, and there was a box of coins tied to it. What a nice gift from the sky. Alright, we're moving on to Monday. Let's see if we can profit off our turnips. I've got some good news. The stock market is about to open. You can buy turnips and then sell them for the price shown on the spaces you land on. Turnips will go rotten within a week, so make sure you sell them by Saturday. By the way, this week's turnip price trends are... Steady. Okay. Oh, I see. That's cool. You can sell turnips for a decent price, but you probably won't be making any huge profits. But you won't have to worry about taking any huge losses either. I see. 
So it's kind of a balance and in between. Uh, you know what? I think I am going to try to sell the turnips now, though, because we're... Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll give it a couple turns. But for all we know, the, they, the prices could be lower in the next couple of days. So we definitely want to make some profit on them. But we're going to see what we want to do for now. So we're going to roll the, the die again. Take it off. And that's four. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, come on, y'all. He broke a string right before his show started. Didn't have any spares, so I had to run out and get some. Crazy. Poor KK. Poor KK. Got a, got a feel for that guy. Oh, so now we have the opportunity to sell them. We would be making 60 bells of profit per turnip, uh, which nets us... We bought 20, so that's going to net us, what, 1,200 bells? Is that correct? Well, that's going to net us 1,200 bells of what we bought, but we she gave us 10 for free. This is a decent price, you know? Can I, do I, can I sell some? Oh, yeah, you can choose how many you sell. So I'm going to sell... I'm going to sell 10. And hold the rest, I think, just to kind of get a little bit of profit right now. And because we've already made a good amount on these turnips anyway. And 141 looks like a pretty high price. Although the space next to her was 172. Oh, she could sell them for 164. That's a lot. Okay, well, it's good that we didn't sell all of them. So it's kind of like we are dipping our toes in the water there. We're going to say, okay, well, I'll sell 10 of these now and I'll make something out of them. Um, and then if I land on a higher space later, I can just sell the rest. Because that she has 190 there. That's a lot. So we barely sold them for, for any profit at all. And he, he made, or she made a lot there. I went mushroom gathering, but I couldn't find any. Why? They're usually sprouting all over the place. Alright, so the boy is doing terribly, but girl number two, or girl number three, whatever her name is, she's doing really well. Yeah, he needs help, <laughs> and we're not going to be the ones to give it to him. When I put out a piggy bank for financial good luck, visitors started putting change in it. Can't argue with the results. So he basically asked for money. He's not going to sell his turnips. All right, let's see what the turnip prices are looking like today. Turnip value down. Dang it. Okay. So we're not going to sell any turnips this turn. It. <laughs> Unless we happen to land on a like 190 space or 160 or something, but for right now we're gonna hold. We're gonna roll. Moving four, not bad. We're still leading in, in happy points. I guess that's worth it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go this way because we get some money and bells. And if we wanna sell our turnips, we can. To prepare for the harvest festival, I'm offering a low tuition cooking class. That's pretty cool. Lots of folks thanked me. I accomplished a lot today. That's great, KK. KK is an awesome character. I am not going to sell any turnips. Alright, so we got seven minutes left in our game. Alright, she cut a flat thing. Oh, a dab. <laughs> Alright, she made 300 off that. That's not, that's not that great, though. <laughs> I like it, though, because wherever you are on the board the different events kind of correspond to that. So, like, she was on the board, she was by the beach, and so her little event was her fishing. So that's pretty cool. I think that's really neat. So she fixed her friend's leaky roof. That's pretty nice as well. She's not going to sell. So we're all holding our turnips for a better profit. And he gets a six. So he's been rolling a lot. He's been rolling really high numbers, but he just hasn't gotten a lot of luck. But this is a pretty good one. I opened an umbrella and found some bells I had stashed in it. It was raining bells. Why would you store money in an umbrella? <laughs> so he's not going to sell his turnips either. All right, let's see if the turnip prices have gone up since yesterday. Twice dice day. Ooh. Everyone, it's a, it's a double day, meaning we get to roll two dice. It's twice dice day. What a cute name. If you roll a double, you get bonus happy points, so good luck. Whoa. Nice. All right. But it, it looks like the turnip prices have not been changed in any way, so that's a little unfortunate. But Get to roll two. 
And we're looking at nine, so we get two happy points. Alright. Well, we're definitely going up here. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Alright, we got five minutes left in our game. I went to the Kix shoe store to return some shoes I bought. Another customer wanted that same pair, so it all worked out. That doesn't seem like a particularly good thing, but whatever. I guess if someone's getting something out of it, then it's it's good. She rolls And so she gives the character with the celebrant some money. She caught a cricket. That's pretty nasty. I wouldn't be happy if I caught a cricket. Unless it was the cricket from Mulan. That's a cute cricket. For good luck. Okay, so that guy, that boy, is profiting off of that, off of that tarot card he got. He's definitely making some big money off that. He's actually moved to second place as far as happy points go, so he's definitely come a long way. And now it's his turn. He can kind of turn things around. And he's really not that far off of where we are, so we we got to be scared here. All right, so and he gets another stamp. That's pretty awesome. Looks like he's the first. Yeah, he's the first character. Wow, he's he's. He's really catching up to us quickly. I was jamming with a friend by the river when a passerby tossed some bells. It was only a practice, so wow. So he has a lot of happy points, but not very many uh, bells. So let's see if the prices for turnips have gone up at all. Hmm. Wow, time really flies when you're having fun. Woof. What should we do? Add ten more minutes or not? I would love to, but I'm, I'm really just trying to kind of showcase what we're doing here, so I'm going to say no. Sounds good, Woof. In that case, this board game will continue until the end of tomorrow. Good luck with these last two days, Woof. Alright, so we have two more turns left. And Joan is visiting again, I guess? We're on Thursday. Heard something pretty good happen. Well, let's enjoy this good fortune. So, something good is in store if you land on a Joan space. That's pretty neat. Hopefully there's a, jo a Jones space near me. Alright, so we're going to roll. Oh, if we got two, then that we would have landed on a Jones space, but we got three. And, and of course we give him some money. Wow. Wow, and we're going to lose some bells here. I auditioned to be a contestant. Excuse me, I auditioned to be a contestant on a quiz show. I was so sure I'd get on the show, I bought a ton of books to study. But I didn't get selected. So we lose three happy points and a lot of money. So, um, Okay, this is a huge risk here. I am going to sell the turnips right now, all of them, <clears throat> because we only have until tomorrow to sell them. And if they don't go up tomorrow, then we've kind of wasted that. So I'm just going to sell them now. And we still get a good amount of money from them. So uh, we're going to kind of see how that turns out in the end. And let's hope she doesn't get a Jones space, because... She'll start destroying us. Alright, so she got another stamp. We have we have yet to get a single stamp so far. <laughs> so maybe we aren't doing as well as we thought. Turnips are selling like hotcakes. Oh. How much money did she get? 2,000. That's a good amount. Yeah, she's leading in money easily. Oops. And she gets another stamp too. There we go. <laughs> I have gotten zero stamps, and they they got ten happy points. I took a stroll to get some fresh air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada yada yada. Okay, so she is going to part ways with all of her turnips. She's not going to make as much profit as we did, though. So overall, our turnip profit wasn't too bad. Um, we definitely made a and he's gonna get some good money as well. I like his outfit though. He's wearing chanclas and some camo shorts and a tank top. Even though it's November, he's wearing a tank top in November. Although if you look at it like that, KK is naked in November. So this is the last day. Today is the last day of this game. Make sure you have lots of fun today. Alright, so this is the final turn. Turn of value fluctuating. I don't know what that means. The stock market is really unstable right now. High price spaces and low price spaces are all jumbled up. Tread carefully. Alright, so now I'm a little glad. Like, there's a huge risk there. Um, I'm pretty glad. Oh, wow, there's a 400 one right there. Wow, that's insane. Okay, never mind. 
Uh, we didn't make a good profit. <laughs> and of course, we land on the 400. That's hilarious how that works out, isn't it? And we give her some money. Wow, that's great. So if we still had our turnips, we would have made an insane profit there, but but we don't have them, so we got some good money though. So that's the end of our of our game. That's the end of our turn. So once the other characters finish their turns, then the game will be over. And I, I'm not super confident that I won after all, but it was fun. So we'll see what happens. Although I still have, I'm still tied for the most number of happy points. So who knows? Oh, it costs money to use the cards. Wow. Oh, but that I'm guessing that guarantees that you move too. That's pretty useful because now, oh, we landed on the same space and we're looking at each other. We're having a stare down. I was just staring up at the sky when a balloon carrying a bag of bells drifted by. I shot it down and shared the loot with a friend. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, girl four. Wow, and she just made a ton of profit off of those turnips. Eight thousand dollars. Alright, so he didn't make very much money on his turnips. Well, he got a lot of money there, though. He has 50 turnips that he's gonna... He's basically losing value from the turnips that he bought. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so that's game. Thanks for playing, everybody. Woof. It's time to see the final results. I wonder which of you is the happiest player. Money can't buy love, but it can buy happy points. You'll get one for every 1,000 bells you have. That's pretty cool, so that might actually help me uh, do well. <coughs> Excuse me, do well. So we got eight happy points, and we ended up in second place. I guess she had so much.